So let's talk about the rollup. So what is rollup? Well, it produces combinations useful for a rollup report. Uh, by default, the rollup produces a grand total for you, so you don't have to bother with those empty set of parentheses. Rollup is used on the group by clause. And the syntax is basically roll up left paren or right paren, and within the parentheses you would put a common delimited list of columns. So this is what the syntax looks like: group by roll up a comma b comma c, and in this case, a comma b comma c are actually columns and not just parenthesized list of columns. And this translates into or is equivalent to grouping sets, left paren, and in parentheses a comma b comma c, then a comma b then A, and then your grand total empty set of parentheses. And what does this mean? Well, this basically means group by A comma B comma C, union all, group by A comma B, union all, group by A, and then union all produce the grand total. And that's what that translates into. So uh, to make it more clear as to what the rollup is actually doing with all these variables, you would start off with producing a union all A comma B comma C, union all, a comma B, union all A, finally union all and that little stubby arrow indicates the grand total. And again it's useful for, useful for producing a roll-up reports and I'll show you what that means on this slide. So on the left hand side of your screen you'll see an Excel pivot table and on the right side of the screen you'll see the, uh, the results of our SQL query. Now if you take a look at the Mars bar, uh, Mars bar um, roll-up report on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice that there's F for female, and then you have the overall rating of 7 and then 8, then you have the males, an overall rating of 8 and 10. You'll notice that the 7 and the 8, which are both 25 and 25 in ter terms of total bars consumed, rolls up into 50 for the female line. So the 7 and the 8 roll up into the female, which is 50. So under the males, you'll see the 8 and the 10 there for the overall rating and the 8 has a 25 total bars consumed, the 10 has 252 total bars consumed, and the total of that for the males is 277. So the 8 and the 10 roll up into the male two, males of 277. But you'll also notice that the female of 50 and the male of 277 rolls up into the 327 for the Mars bar row. And this repeats for all the different candy bars as well as all the genders. And then finally, if you add up all of the different candy bars for 2009, so if you roll, add up the Hershey bar of 37, the Mars bar of 327, the Snickers bar of 55, and the Twix bar of 107, that would roll up into 2009, and the total bars consumed would add up to 526. Okay, and that's what a roll-up report really does. Again, we go from overall rating rolling up into the genders, the genders rolling up into the candy bars, the candy bars rolling up into the years, and so on and so forth. Example number two. Let's use roll-up to produce exactly the same results as our motivational example. Well, this is the code we showed you for the motivational example, basically group by roll-up, server year, candy bar name, gender, and overall rating. And what does that produce? Well, the group by roll-up is equivalent to group by Server year, candy bar name, gender, overall rating, union all, group by, server year, candy bar name, gender, union all, group by, server year, candy bar name, union all, group by, server year, union all, and finally the little stubby arrow indicates a grand total.